Please don't be juicy. Why don't you seduce me in your jacuzzi? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest not going out moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments or episodes from this sitcom that still make us chuckle to this day. Did we miss your favorite funny moment? Let us know in those comments below. 6x, yes, show me. <laughs> Can I keep them in the box? This is a waste of a perfectly good melon. <laughs> Who's a lucky little fella? The cat? Number 10. No one really wants to jump. A charity jump seems like a great idea when they're on the ground. But at 4,000 feet in the air, everyone starts having second thoughts. Well, except for Lee, who seems rather excited, almost too excited. Is that right, Lee? Oh, of course it bloody is. Have you seen how high up these planes go? I'd rather jump out of a birthday cake at Wormwood Scrubs dressed as Marilyn Monroe. So when the truth comes out, chaos ensues with hilarious lies, excuses, deception, and manipulation as everyone fights for the safe seat. One by one, the arguments actually encourage them to jump, leaving Lee, Frank, and Jeffrey to battle it out. Who's next? Good question. Uh, maybe you should jump together. You can hold hands if you like. But the ultimate winner here is their Aussie, no, sorry, Kiwi instructor and the pilots, who ensure that everyone commits to the jump. After all, it's all for a good cause. It's all right, Keith, he's jumped. <laughs> What's going on? I thought we were going to crack here, yeah, and I thought you lot were never going to jump. It's got the amount of encouragement it takes sometimes. Number nine, Lee's birthday nightmare. As a birthday surprise for Lee, Lucy arranges an escape room for the gang. They put something on me, get it off! However, tensions quickly rise when reality and fiction become blurred and the race against the clock seems more urgent. Jeffrey gets frustrated with Frank's brilliant detective skills and it's not long before everyone turns on each other. Can't be her. Tell them, Wendy. Frank's right. It was me. I hate this bloody game. Things get hilariously heated as they frantically fight to free themselves from the grasp of a madman. Only they soon learn that it's not the same madman as they initially thought. Happy birthday to me. It was hilarious to see. You all hide from a pretend bomb that was put there by me. As funny as Lee's big reveal is at the end, he still doesn't get the last laugh, but we certainly do. Is it a bit of fun? Oh, well, lucky you. You get to enjoy it for several more hours. Number eight, Lee joins the Proclaimers. Talk about bad timing. As Tim and Daisy comfort a tearful Lucy, Lee makes a musical entrance. <laughs> Wearing a ventriloquist dummy on his shoulder and playing the guitar, he sings the Proclaimers' I'm On My Way. I'm on my way from what I want from... <laughs> It's the Proclaimers. But when he fails to get the laughs, he tries again, instead of actually reading the room. He even tries to break the somber atmosphere with yet another song by the famous Scottish duo. We talk about it in the morning. What do you mean? When I wake up? <laughs> Even though we can't help but laugh out loud, Lucy still doesn't even crack a smile. It's hard to tell who's the real dummy in this Proclaimers tribute act. Number seven, Tim considers a career change. Why would you want to pack your job in? Because I want to do something more exciting, more dangerous. Lee's best mate Tim is dependable, responsible, and has a steady job. But apparently this is no longer enough for him and he's looking for more thrills in his life. As Tim describes his ideal job to his girlfriend Daisy, she interjects with her usual amusingly ditzy comments. You never really know what to expect when Daisy's around, but she never fails to make us laugh. Something that makes you wonder whether you'll still be alive at the end of the day. And then when you are, you know you've stared at death and laughed in his face. And is accountancy not doing that for you? <laughs> We're not really sure what she thinks accountancy entails, but it sounds far more exciting than what we'd expect. 
However, when Tim gets caught up in another of Lee's crazy messes... What's my line again? Who ordered pizza? <laughs> suddenly, accountancy isn't looking so bad anymore. Hey, get ready for your scene! <laughs> this is definitely not Bergerac. Number six, Barbara's Christmas baubles. What the hell's going on? Why? What have you found? <laughs> when Tim considers selling his flat, he hires Barbara to spruce up the place. Even though she's completely incompetent, Lucy still decides to keep her around. We hardly ever actually see Barbara doing her job, and when she does, she usually manages to break anything she touches. <laughs> On this particular occasion, for some bizarre reason, Barbara decides to give the Christmas tree a polish. After she steps back, the bubbles start falling off one by one, and soon the angel follows too. <laughs> After that, Lucy still appeals to her to stick around and help with Christmas dinner. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Number five, let's call the whole thing a sham. Well, maybe I'm not going to be single for much longer. When Lucy takes her car to the garage, she leaves with a newly repaired car and a marriage proposal. After her mechanic, Pavlov, shares his tragic backstory with her, she considers taking him up on the offer. Of course, she is met with disapproval from her family and Lee, who all try to talk her out of it. Well, actually tries to sing her out of it instead. You say potato, he says svazmozniak. You say tomato, he says vnuflite. Revamping Fred and Ginger's let's call the whole thing off. Let's call the whole thing a sham. <laughs> One at a time, Pavlov manages to win everyone over, Lee included. But ultimately, they settle on a solution that makes everyone happy, especially Barbara. Barbara, how'd you fancy a trip to India? <laughs> Number four, Lee and Frank, the morning after. Oh, come on, son. You've got to let me give you a lap dance. You constantly find new ways to disgust me. After six seasons of Will They, Won't They, Lee and Lucy are finally tying the knots. But in typical not-going-out fashion, they can't get hitched without a few, well, hitches along the way. The funniest moment comes when after a raucous night in the town, Lee and Frank find themselves in jail with no memory of the night before. You only come quickly if you've committed a major crime or if they think you're a danger to someone else. Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> what makes this moment so funny is when the police officer walks into their cell speaking Spanish. Buenos dias, keeper at the barachos. Mas tontos. <laughs> the duo instantly panic before the copper reveals that it was just a prank. Perhaps Lee would have seen the funny side if he didn't have a wedding to get to. Thanks, Jeffrey. Or should I say, Dad, don't push it. Number three, the disastrous camping trip. One of the funniest episodes of the series, it would almost be impossible to choose just one standout moment. To prove his manliness, Lee joins his friends on a camping trip. You sure about this? Those woods look a bit spooky. Their no gadget rule quickly backfires when they break down in a seemingly spooky location. Tensions start to run high between the group, not helped by the creepy clowns that keep popping up around them. If you don't stop trying it on with my sis... <laughs> when Lee attacks one of them, the gang soon learns that they are actually in a rather popular spot, just not for camping. We were going to ask you lot the same question. What? When are you lot going to start dogging? Lee and Lucy decide that outdoor camping isn't really for them after all. Number two, Lee really wants to join the band. Why me? There were so many other people in there. I only saw you. You might want to get that checked out, it sounds like cataracts. The green-eyed monster rears its ugly head when Lucy hits it off with Stretch, the lead guitarist in Tim's band. Seeing her instant attraction to the musician, Lee decides to show her that he has what it takes to become a rock star as well. He decides to appeal to Tim to convince Stretch to let him join the band, and he knows just the rock and roll track to win him over. <laughs> Looking back. 
like I could have played it differently. Although Tim insists his musical theatre days are behind him, he simply can't resist. Wasn't it good? Oh, so good. Oh, so fine. But as the band walks in on this jam session, Lee and Tim very swiftly change their sound. <laughs> Number one, anything can happen on live television. Well, what's our audience? Oh, you know, dancing dogs, unicycling, rock ballads, KFC bargain buckets, a cheeky Nando's, Holby City, Cadbury's mini rolls, custard pie fights, curly whirlies, chupa chups, John Lewis Christmas ads, but not actually shopping there, wafting the duvet after passing wind and watching people remember difficult monologues. This was the first time that they attempted a live broadcast, and as they say, it's live television so anything can happen. In fact, the show begins with a nudge-nudge, wink-wink moment addressing the potential pitfalls of live performances. Just as Lucy worries that the Christmas variety show she's organising for their kids' school might be a disaster, Sally Breton flubs her line. The thought of a live show terrifies me. What if it's a... a, 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 a what if it's a disaster? I'm going to look really stupid. No, I think you carried it off quite well, then. <laughs> now, they could have easily moved on, but there was no way Lee Mack was going to just let it slide, and it's hilarious. We certainly enjoyed the meta humour throughout this episode, and we hope for another live show soon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know what's more impressive, hitting it from that distance or finding a fly in the house when it's actually the middle of December. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.